Hello, we are happy to see you again on the Escort Company's channel. My name is Romil Bagimov, and I'm going to tell you today about our angle sensors, namely DU-180. It turned to be quite hard to explain all the applications of the sensor in one video, but I'll do my best. The sensor is based on the high-fidelity 3-axis accelerometer, providing 1 degree accuracy and 180 degrees measuring range. In this video, you'll find out the operation principles of the sensor in different ranges. There are six of different regimes so far. You'll learn also how to perform correct wiring in order to provide normal operation of the sensor. Check out also this video of the sensor crash test because it turned to be quite harsh and interesting. So, you are an owner of garbage trucks fleet. You have a few level sensors and GPS trackers already installed on your vehicles. So, you can do monitoring of fuel consumption and tracking of your vehicles. But what if your worker has not loaded all the containers proceeding through a needed road? You never know. The escort angle sensor makes it possible. It makes possible reliable registration of every single garbage container loading. By the way, it is also possible to identify each garbage container. I mean to distinguish one container from another. Soon we'll do a separate video on it. The container loaded are to get flipped upside down, regardless of a garbage truck model. The powered forks move from a nominally horizontal to vertical position in this case. The actual angles varies from one garbage truck to another, obviously. This is why 10-15 degree zones are to be set up instead of precise angle values to make the solution work with any garbage truck whatsoever. Matching of the fork to these two zones are then to be considered as container taken and container loaded. This is how regime 1 works. You're an owner of winter service vehicles or say graders. You have your fleet all fuel and dew position monitored, so you always know what vehicles are moving right now. But are these ones removing snow or the drivers just trying to save some fuel, not lowering the snow plow all the way to the ground level? You never know as well. Such direct control of snow plow position is provided by escort angle sensor. Now, how it actually works. Snowplow can often be lifted a bit when moving over road obstacles, turning back, etc. But the system must distinguish shark plow liftings from actual vehicle idling and not reporting plow is up every single time this happens. We need it to report snow being removed while it actually is and report stop snow removal only if the plow is all the way removed or not approaching the ground for too long. Same issue we encounter when dealing with excavators. Uh, your excavator might be equipped with fuel level sensor and GPS tracker, but excavators are not supposed just to burn its engine, you know, and to move from point A to point B. They're supposed to utilize its bucket to manipulate its arm, right? So would you like to know at the end of every working day how many hours a particular excavator uh, manipulated its arm and how many hours its arm did not move at all? So, interesting, here we are again with the escort angle sensor. 
It might seem not hard to monitor the excavator was or not, but it's not. It's not a problem to distinguish excavator working and not working by just looking at it. But how you learn a program to do the same thing, huh? In my opinion, there are pretty elegant solution has been found. Angle sensor does not transduce the arm inclination angle. Rather than it considers the inclination dependence on time, so the arm inclination should vary in at least 10 degrees every 10 seconds. And the sensor is set up this way. If the variation is smaller, sensor reports are not moving. Although, as in case of waste trucks, multiple false negative reports cased by short arm stopping are not accepted. To avoid it, the stop message is sent after two consequent negative reports. Setting just two parameters in accordance to working speed of your excavators and the arm movement intrinsic amplitude makes the escort angle sensor applicable to any excavator whatsoever. That's all fine so far, but what if your excavators, your graders or dump trucks are utilized in a quarry? What if a vehicle platform may occur in a random inclination during the operation? This is the case where we need the sensor 6 regime, which is called a difference regime. It implies simultaneous use of two angle sensors. Uh, where one monitors, as usual, the arm, the plow or the bucket position and other monitor the platform position at that exact moment. The angles are measured hence all correctly regardless of the ground inclination a vehicle might occur on. Okay, that was it as for escort angle sensor operation principles. Regardless of the application you're interested in, just pick the regime and contact us to clarify any details. Thanks for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe on our channel. Ask us any question or just wish us good luck in comments. See you. It was sincerely your escort.